Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Radsko Tarot and this is going to be daily tarot reading for June 16th, 2018. <clears throat> so four cards spread, now the first one shows up the topic of that particular day. The second card does expresses up um, the negative approach toward the day we could take. The third card does expresses up the positive approach toward the day that we could take. And the last one uh, does uh, expresses up the long-term benefits in case we do take the positive over the negative approach for that particular day. So the topic of the day is uh, the Tower card. And this is going to be a day of sudden around turns. This is going to be a day of transformations and permutations as well. Tower card does points to... Uh, one thing dies, quote unquote, while the other thing takes takes its place. Now, the Tower card is associated with turmoil and uh, with destruction, and uh, this is uh, destruction of the transformation, as I said. Now, let me try to explain it that way. Uh, Usually, this particular breakdown happens into the field of our life in which there is no room for growth anymore. It is because we have built it up so stable and uh, so strong in a sense that there is no room for expand. Basically, we have walled ourselves in and we can't escape those walls and that's why one of those walls falls down uh, sometimes it is pay painful all right well most of the time it's painful but um from another hand it gives us more room to work with now my point here with the tower card is that when one thing falls falls apart we do have the chance to build again the same thing but this time bigger and stronger so whatever uh in your life at that particular day it is destroyed. Uh, let's say friendship. I don't. Not for everybody is going to be a relationship or a lie or or, or or job, you know. But there is something that is gonna shock you. That is the point, and it doesn't have to be something that it is destroyed. All right. This is a um, unpredictable event that is gonna happen, which is going to um, turn around. Uh, a majority of your life and just to give you an, uh, uh, an example let's say that you are in a very good relationship and today you you fall in love with someone else that will totally shock you you know same the same thing goes into your career let's say that you do have really shitty career and this uh, and this day you have been offered something difficult but uh, difficult project but in the same time project of growth that will shock you and it will make you think in a completely different way. So it's a transformation that we are going to endure that particular day. I'm trying to explain you because the Tower card is a very broad card. I cannot tell you that this is going to be a disaster because many readers interpret singular that card as a disaster and a very hard time we're going to go through. Probably yes, all right. Probably yes. It's going to be a hard time, but it is a hard time because it comes out of the sudden. You know, uh, we are not prepared for it and it requires from us to be original, to, to be, um, how can I place it, uh, to be unpredictable, to align very and adapt very quickly with the new form circumstances, which uh, very often comes uh, with unpleasant symptoms, but it always regards healing. So at the end of the process, you're going to find your life much wider and so the negative approach toward that transformation the the high priestess comes as being totally passive and just waiting it to pass away on its own accord first of all tower card the energy of the tower card does not pass on on its own accord the more you don't attend to it the more destruction you're gonna you're gonna see but also the more you fight against it the, the more painful is going to be. So the High Priest is here points that you should not presume anything that it is going to lead you, uh, these circumstances are going to lead you to, all right? Just go with the current. Do your part in it and you're going to see that the end is going to be much beneficial from the start. Now, the High Priestess points that one could be biased about the outcome or about the results and that 
that being said, when one is biased about the results, one does not see any reason to go f uh, to go with the current and the natural um, the natural reaction of every human being when they face difficulties is to go against those difficulties or restrain themselves away from them. All right, so that speaks that you are gonna go against the current. And if you go against the current, the only thing, my friends, you're going to face there is suffering. So, uh, or struggling, excuse me, not suffering, but struggling. So let's go now and see what will be the positive approach to the situation. We do have the emperor. And the emperor points that we need to aim to organize our life. We need to bring structure into it, make a plan, be consistent with that plan as well the emperor is listening to some advices because the emperor always listens to his counselors so that speaks that around you there are people who will help you big time with advices and with strategies even they will create for you strategies how you can go through that particular thing that could be a professional uh, uh, a professional people, for example, you know, business advisors, uh, psychotherapists, lawyers, etc., etc. So if you do need additional information, my point is that you need to seek it from qualified um, <clears throat> professionalist as well. The emperor points that you have to take as well responsibilities for your actions and for what it is happening around you. As soon as you start doing that you're going to uh, be able to kind of like separate the wrong decision from the right decision and that being said you will start bringing up order and structure into your estate into your domain not to mention that when you start organizing your things and not being scattered around you will be able to obtain more time for yourself so you will see that you do have a lot of a um, you know free time to attend to your personal needs and the benefits of all that we do have the knight of cups so the knight of cups is a card pointing that one holds the dream in front of themselves the dream of their heart in front of themselves and always follow them so after that transformation takes place and you really manage the crisis here by being organized structured uh, by um, dealing with uh, the uprising difficulties or issues with an iron hand an iron will etc etc and you show to the universe not to the people around you but to the universe that you are actually a ruler of your own domain and no one can can dictate your rule uh, you the rules the Knight of Cups, this point that first of all, you're going to uh, uncover that you are capable of far much than what you are showing right now to the world. Second of all, it will give you clearance to achieve a dreams of your heart in a certain in a certain extent. Not all of your dreams, but the most of them, all right? And third, it will allow you to start, um, how can I place it here? It will allow you to obtain much bigger control to, uh, upon your fate in the sense of um, acquiring benefits. Because this particular transformation will deprave your, um, your success from chances. Uh, or from kind of like random chances so your your success will be totally based upon your performance and how good your performance is rather than um, rather than relying on uh, you know on a random circumstances to happen and that or a luck you know rather rather than relying on luck which is very very positive so uh, that is pretty much ra uh, wrapping it up for that particular day and uh, I hope you enjoyed and you liked the reading and whatever difficulty guys you face today um, or you have to encounter today just face it and you will see that there is nothing that you cannot manage otherwise if you pull yourself back away from it and you try to bypass it things for what it seems from the reading things are not going to get better at the very least if they if they don't get worse so you want improvement you have to go through that transformation that is taking place today 
So that being said, again, this was your daily tarot reading for June 16, 2018. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.